Now probably the easiest when you start out is to use the design view. So you can either do the design, the split, or the source. And real quickly we'll just add a, a label. And when I, when I highlight this label I can come over here and change the text. And this is my property window over here on the right. So I can say hello world. And I can maybe add another label. And I can say, what is your name? And let me add a text box. Now I want to name my text box with a prefix, so I'm going to go up to the ID and name it text name. And I'm going to put a default value in. So I go down to text, and in here I'll put Susie Microsoft. That's an interesting last name. Now you'll notice that I'm doing everything in this blue dotted line. That's our actual form. I'll show you the code in a minute. And we're not really dealing with um, formatting right now. So don't, don't struggle with formatting. You'll put some spaces in. If you want, we're going to add a new button. And I can go down a couple lines. And let's add in a button. And again, I can change my text. And go up and name my button object. Alright, there's our form. If we go to the source, you can see what what the program is added. Now these are in my way right now because I want to look at all this code so I'm going to click on this stick pin that's going to auto hide and if I move over to the right whoops if I move over to the toolbar you can see it comes up but I can grab those really quick so this is kind of a nice thing to know about but here you can see my my label and here's my other label what is your name Here's my text box that I renamed the ID. And here's my button. Alright, so I'll save the file. And then I'll click on this green triangle and that will run my page. This is an error that came up probably because I saved my files in the wrong place. So I'm going to come here, I'm going to say file, and I probably don't have rights for that. So I'm going to go back to my file system, go to my desktop, and I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to go into my user and go to that desktop and paste my code in there. Now the difference is this is my desktop on both my Mac and my VMware and I think that's causing a security issue with Windows so instead I'm going to go into my just my VMware so this is my user and inside my user I have my own personal desktop and it should work in here so it's all about where I have rights and access to I wondered if that didn't wouldn't happen so there you can see my files here's my index file this is my VB code that we'll be adding later we don't have anything right now here's my solution file this is what Visual Studio uses to, to maintain these. And this is a web config file that'll happen, that'll get changed as I run. All right, so let's try open this again. Say open website. So I'm going to go into Peter. 
I'm going to my desktop. Here's my Visual Studio. And I'll say open. And here you can see my files. So I'll look at my index. There it is. And let's try running it once more. Now, this is telling me that my web config is not set up for debugging. So I'm going to make sure that's checked. I'm going to say OK. You can see that Firefox tried to run, and I believe Firefox is bumping into my Windows firewall. Uh, remember that security is job one. So if I open up IE, that's already set up in the firewall, and that will let me. I'm going to go into Tools. Oh, it's going to ask me, would you like to make Internet Explorer your default browser? I'll say yes. And then I'll go back. Now, do you see how the green arrow is grayed out? That means the program is running, so I'm going to have to stop it and then run it again. Now, this should trigger out Internet Explorer. There's my Internet Explorer. And there's my web page. So here's Suzy Microsoft. Now, the button doesn't have any code yet, but here's my button and my two labels. So let's take a quick look at what we've created. First of all, we have the design view. We're looking at index.aspx. Here's our design view, so we can see the components. I can move my toolbar in and out. And I can go to my source and look at my code. Now, I can change things right in my code. And when I go back to my design view, you'll see that it's automatically ad adapted. So, where are the files? Well, if we look in our file system, here's my user. Here's my desktop for my user. You can see right here I'm in my desktop. Here's my Visual Studio folder. These are my support files. Now, when you get ready to submit your project, what you want to do is you would take this probably rename it and then you can zip this up so I'm going to use right mouse click send to compress folder by renaming this here is my file this zip file is what you want to submit to D2L 